Right now I'm also using display capture, but it seems to be picking it up pretty good. Yesterday I was using uh, game capture. All right, we're back in. Oh, I'm gonna have to, one sec. I need to close out of this. That way we don't go to the other screen. I think now we're good. Cool. So last night, the last thing we did was we had a conversation with the other uh, Torabon, I think his name was. Um, and then that was pretty much it. So I guess we'll talk Hello to there. this guy. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, <laughs> I think. Very good things I have. You will see. You armors. Jeez, some of this is kind of expensive. Medium armor. I'm good. Honestly, I don't even like know how the armor system works in this. I guess this is technically like does it even look any different okay it does huh so this this is what I'm wearing right now the Aldrin labs but if I double click on this one it switches to the Guardian 2 uh, or wait no no I was wearing the Onyx 1 I see so it does actually have a cosmetic um, look I, w I didn't actually know that. Cool to know, though. All right, let's uh, see what else we got going on here. Well, yeah, we didn't really travel or like walk around this area yesterday, so figured we'd start out by seeing who we can find. I think what my main focus for like this playthrough um, or these playthroughs technically since for <laughs> there's three games um i think what i'm gonna try doing the most is like just talking to people that you actually see and like taking my time with it um because i mean there's not really anything else going on right now anyways so i feel like this is one of those games where i've been wanting to replay for quite a while now that was weird I did not expect Rex to be around that corner. <laughs> Wait a Looks minute. Like shut down. There's a bunch of enemies. Locked and loaded. What happened? Charging up. I have uh, my teammates set to use any abilities that they want. There they go. Good, now they're using them. So I'm technically playing this game through uh, EA desktop, but I was looking at some of the Steam reviews. For the most part, they're, they are pretty good. Um, one second, I actually forgot to check something real quick. Okay, yeah, that's good too. Whew. Got nervous for a second there. But um, yeah, I was looking at the, the Steam reviews and they're for the most part good but the, some of the top reviews did make some good points where they didn't really uh change a lot of like graphic like there's literally no graphic options um there's no uh field of view there's not a lot of customized like customization as far as pc version stop right there don't come any closer warehouse work 
All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never liked this anyway. <laughs> it would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. We got a weapon locker. I've actually like never done this the hacking or anything in the previous games. So it's kind of cool like doing that this time around. Oh god. Uh hey, come on! Oh, no. I'm a, I'm about to die. Wait, how do I use this? Bring cover. Wait, how far back was our save? I'm kind of nervous. Wait, all the way back here, really? Damn. How do we even get there? I think it was down this way. That's why you always, always, always do an auto save after combat. I even going the right way? Wait, I feel like I'm going a completely different way. No, this is completely. Wait, what? Oh, uh, maybe I walked this way. I remember being in that corner though. Unless if it's through this room. Hey, yo, what's going on, bad? Thanks for the host, man. How you doing? Looks like it shut down. Here we go. This knows we're coming. Enemy contact. Chilling, same here, man. Same here. I'm uh, I'm feeling pretty good so far today. No, uh, no issues as far as uh, the shot. Can I tell them to switch weapons? I can. I got Pfizer. My, my second uh, shot of Pfizer yesterday. Nothing so far, at least. Same what I had, yeah. My family was like completely fine. Um, but I've, I've heard Stop other right stories. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I'd never like to. Would have been shooting people isn't always. Yeah. I'd right, save again. I didn't realize that we were gonna run straight into a combat scenario right after this. Plus, I had like no health. Level three pistol. I could actually probably equip one of these before. So. This one is all around better. Empty the mods. Anti-personnel rounds. We get the uh, pistol over here. Accuracy ratings, not that great, but I think it might be because I have the mods on too. Um, 
Wait, now it's all the same level. Ah, oh, there it goes. Accuracy, weapon stability. Let's do that one. Grenade launcher. <laughs> and then his armor. Okay, cool. Rest of that's good, I think. Save. Um, I also was looking into... Jeez. Didn't get any stuttering like you were having on my first mission. You didn't arrive. <laughs> Combat's kind of loud. I think that was just like... Okay. Yeah, that was definitely NDI. Um, stuttering. The game has been perfectly fine for me. Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Yeah, wait, it is, wait. It I is don't beautiful. know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Damn. <laughs> what are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Um, but so earlier today, um, this morning, I woke up and I was like, I felt productive. So I tried uh, installing... Um, uh, PCIe uh, USB 3.0 like hub into my stream PC, but the uh, the PCIe bracket was too uh, long, so I had to um, order a new one. But supposedly it's coming tomorrow now. Wait, what did I just do? It pressed tab and it highlighted that. Oh yeah, V is deployed. how you heal. I keep forgetting that you can do that. Take cover. So, once that comes in, I'm gonna try uh, using my capture card again. The HD60S that I have. Because I, I watched a whole video on how to set it up, and I think I should be able to get it. It might be a little smoother too. What? Uh, they haven't picked. At least it doesn't say they picked it up yet. But I'm looking forward to uh, to that one. Uh, hopefully, once I set that up, and if it works any better. I mean, for NDI, for what it is, like I said, it's still pretty good. And I still might honestly use NDI for like audio capture and streaming it over to my uh, other PC because it, it is so easy to do set up like that. Use the capture card for visual and everything else for audio. 
potentially. Uh, so where are we going? I really don't know. Have to get to the alley before they kill her. Down here? This way? There's the alley. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Yeah. No. Take him out. All right, go. Yeah, we call this a uh, corridor. Oh now god. I'm ready. Wait, what? Where am I getting hit from? What is hitting me? I can't shoot. I can't fire. Wait, that's a. Uh, there it goes. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. How does, um... Who are you? How does this stream look today, bad? Is it at all right right now? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to Choppy prove Sarah's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know <laughs> right, how good, many? Good. Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Narayan. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? Quarians are pretty I was on cool. my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one hmm. step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. 
According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Yo, what's going Sounds on, Legend? a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. I love how we have to tell them. <laughs> His eyes no matter like what they think about the rest open of this, wide those so audio times. files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? Welcome to the team. My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect your yourself, scare. then I'm meet good. us in the tower. I hope you're good, man. Here we go. I think we're gonna stick with this squad right now. Yes, confirm. I think it also scales the levels of each character. Uh, if I... So I think if we swapped her in, she would be level four with us, which is pretty cool. It's always nice when you don't have to like level up a new character. Open up new dialogue, dialogue, dialogue options. <laughs> I... What else can we do? Unlock hacking. Nice. And then put two points into these. Boom. One down. Uh, well, yeah, let's do that. Garrus, love your sniper rifles, my dude. Tactical armor, unlock assault training. Uh, advanced overkill, Turian agent. Put two points into Turian Agent. Then for good old Rex here. Um, shotguns. I feel like I should upgrade his shotguns thing. Let's do unlock stasis first and advanced barrier. Melee damage. Does he have a... Crowd members will not use stasis unless selected from the power wheel. I really. Personal shield, equip heavy armor. And fitness. I think I need to put points in to get him his shotguns. Because he loves them. Unlock shotguns right there. Okay, cool. Good stuff. I uh, took a random, uh, a random seizure, went to the hospital, a CT scan, blood taking everything, came back good. Damn, dude. I'm glad you're all right. That's scary. It's definitely sketchy. Go to the upper wards to deliver to her. Uh, you can find him at CSEC Academy. That's where we need to go again. Yes. Oh, whoops. Huddle up. Heading out. Regroup. Regroup. Yeah, man, I'm glad you're all right. That's that is definitely not something that's fun. Feel weird. It's just like a deep sleep. Yeah. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Sure. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. 
There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. Ah. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Very nice. Let's see if we can uh, convince them. Lurk Bosker. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Batia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Hmm. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Is this what I'm out there oh fighting God. for? A government that steals the bodies of its honored dead? All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. I just wanted the Paragon points. To be honest, he does make a good point. Yeah, I wasn't expecting him to grab him. I thought he was just going to be like, yeah, but at what cost? <laughs> it's like... A little bit of uh, escalation there. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I've reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Nice guy. Honestly, I, I wish there was an option where I could be like, hey, listen, like, this is what happened, and this is why they're doing this. And then, like, maybe they could, like, pack him up and, like, uh, help him understand. But at the same time, I know it's not, it would, wouldn't be easy. Yeah, the, the eyes are, are definitely a little bit weird. They have some, uh, interesting aspects. I, I noticed Commander Shepard's eyes get, uh, very, like, open Binary at times. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group <laughs> that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Alright, I'm running over to, um, whatever this guy's name is. There he is, Yalid. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jalid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I can't let this continue any further. I'm reporting what you did. 
But I can't. What will happen to the data when I'm gone? Who will carry on our research? Too late, Volus. You had your chance. But this data could be used to unravel all the secrets of the Keepers. Think what we could learn about the Citadel. Tell me more about this data. Well, it's still very preliminary, but our initial scan suggests the Keepers are as old as the Citadel itself. We might learn how the Citadel was built, or why the Keepers always rearrange things. The possibilities are limitless! I can't. I can't say it doesn't do it legally. I can't let your actions go unpunished. No, please. I'll do anything. I've got credits. Let me go and you can have them. All of them. What's going on over here? Is this Volus causing you some trouble, Commander? He's admitted to stealing data from his workplace. Really? I think you'd better come with me. But, uh... I'll take it from here, Commander. Thanks for your help. But the data! You don't know what you've done! All right, save it for your lawyer. All right, I guess our paladin score wasn't high enough for that option, maybe? Or paragon, paragon, you forgetting it's paragon, not paladin. Uh, there's nobody else over here, right? Yeah, okay. I think we can go back upstairs. And actually, where does this one take? Docking bay, let's go to, let's go through this one. In Sidian. remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. Ah, Nirali. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, courage. Huh. All right, so... Words access. Let's go over there and talk to the lady. The news reporter lady and we'll let we'll let her know what we found refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? You should be more <laughs> tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You? Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Oh. Ah, uh, not wrong. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. 
This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. Please let... Any progress with that Hanar? I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. Uh... If I purchased the evangelical permit myself, would that take care of things? As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. That would solve the issue for me. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do, just... <laughs> has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language, and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. Not that you insult their memory. <laughs> The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Ah, a nice free option. I mean, nobody should be required to use a permit. I see but... the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Cool. I mean, I'll take some free money. Hi, hi, hi. So, I think this will take us to... Does this just automatically take us to the world? In words? entertainment ah. news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Huh. Interesting. They're still, uh, still doing Hamlet out here. <laughs> okay. So how are you liking your posting at the academy? Wait, did this just take us back down in here? Wait, are we just Good. in the? Busy though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. There's nobody we'll to talk to bored. right here. I guess not, but we could still use a few more men. That's why we brought. You. Wait. What? I don't even know where we're at. Obviously the wards, but what is special about this place? It's just like a hallway. Literally like a random hallway. Let's try Reports going up here. circulating that Alliance Ambassador Udina has accused a specter of orchestrating the attack on Eden Pro. Here we go. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. 
What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit. And I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. <laughs> nice. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Sounds good. All right, so what are what is our next objective? The fan, we might run into him again. Okay, return to the tower. Oh yeah, we need to go to the citadel. Cool. Um, chat. Before we do that, let me see where we're. Okay, I think this is city transport. Yes. Good. Locations. The Dell Tower, I think. Right? Maybe I should just use that instead, because that's technically what, a fast travel point? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh before we do this chat, I I just had some food dropped off, so I'm gonna go eat real quick. Um eat some breakfast, and then we will go ahead and continue here and pick up where we're at. So I will be right back in a little bit here. Not Let's go ahead and jump back into this. So we're going to tell the Citadel about the info that we just found. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador. <laughs> there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy.
the guy that does. Commander um, Shepard, step forward. The voice for Garrus does a million things. It's crazy. Family Guy, American Dad. He's in like a million things. Invincible. It is the decision of the council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance branch of the Spectre. <laughs> Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the council, instruments of our will. Oh, wait, Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Spectre bonus. Ooh, Spectre training, talent unlock. Okay. Hold on one second. All right. So. Let's see what we got going on. So yeah, I can. Do we level up? Oh, we did. Nice. Uh, elite agents of the councils, the specters have access to special training unavailable elsewhere in the galaxy. Health accuracy and effectiveness of all attacks grants unity. There's dead squad members with. Okay. Cool. First, let's do that. And then oh, this reduces the recharge time when I put points in that I want to at least get unity then here um description terrain agent First aid. We can have him do some first aid stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Then let's unlock shotguns for Rex. Quick save. Okay, so now speak to Ambassador T Sec Academy. Ward locations is that C Sec Academy? C Sec. Okay, so those are wards. I think the other ones are general areas. 
that loading time is beautiful amazing meet him at the alliance docking bay accessible through the central elevator in csec academy docking bay here it is this one right yep right in front of me the docking so bay. how about it garris is this better than csec fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way i'd say that beats csec there may just be hope for you yet, Turian. <laughs> Ambassador Udina. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. Oh, baby. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse, looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the Conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do oh. exist, oh, the know. Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Why weren't you honest with me? It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human Spectre, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. 
I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated, mission accomplished, and I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. <laughs> Why did I say? Whatever. Only thing I care about is stopping him. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. It's I. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't love how the music just abruptly stops. Yes, sir. Commander, something you need? I have to go. All right, see you. All right, see you. Ah, now he'll talk to me. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, sir, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. Some people think asking for help is a sign of weakness. That's just being stupid and stubborn. No matter how strong you are, allies can make you strong. His eyes are like all over I guess over so. The place, Maybe I'm dude. just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. Carry on, Presley. 
<laughs> yes, sir. Looking down the entire time. Oh, that was a red engage choice. Interesting. Uh, is there any squad people we can talk to? There's somebody. Kaden. Anything you need, Commander? <laughs> Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. We'll talk another time. Commander? Ah, so this is my office now. Deck three, deck one. All right, let's go to deck three. I think a lot of people are down there. Great. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. But CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. <laughs> Jeez, dude, it's so hard to tell what he is about to say. Nice ship you got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not Dude, getting any stronger. His eyes are so bad. 
We're too spread out. <laughs> None really of us are interested they patch it or in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. What's your opinion on the last mission? Kinda wish you'd... No offense. I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit? Yes, sir. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. The Geth are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. Sir, they have flashlight heads. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. Or we can go talk to Tally. After this, then I think we can go to the next area. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype, cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling Allie. on a vessel like this <laughs> is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes oh with being God. a quarry. And He's looking the down. The fleet is the key to the survival of my people. <laughs> His Ships eyes are, are literally valuable looking down resource. during some of these but conversations. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. Like, look. Literally, his eyes are lo not looking forward. They're looking down. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, <laughs> modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make I on our I guess she own. doesn't mind. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. I should go. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> he can't stop staring. Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Fill me in on the IES stealth systems. How does it work, exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give away our location. Eventually, the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running and they overheat, cook us inside our own hull. There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. 
but you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up to FTL blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight, but for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. Hmm. Where else have you served, Adams? You name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. God, the eyes is so distracting. <laughs> I hope we get some sort of patch, but I guess we'll see. All right, one second. So, which one should we do first? Find Laria, go to the Geth or Pharos. I think we should go to Laria first. do we do oh there it goes Jeez. <laughs> Crazy. The Milky Way. Okay, so that's as far as it goes. Go back in one more time. Let's go to Athens. We check my thing. Uh, explore the Unworld of uh, Armist Tau cluster to find Laria. Is that this entire thing? Thank you. 
survey. Large concentration of helium. Insignia recovered. That seems promising. It says land. Let me check all the rest of them. Gas deposit. Here we go. Yo, what's going on, Sir Ballin? How you doing? Take the squad. Good landing. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's what coming from an mean? underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Mustafar? Yeah, have it, right? See, enemy is on the right. Uh oh. Uh. Are those Reapers? repair See, I, I feel like I turned tutorials on but I haven't gotten any tutorials like it says enable tutorials on key bindings exit vehicle is Q R is repair change zoom level fire cannon okay I love how fast the quick saves are. Only a fool punches a nap back in the mouth. We should sneak around and pull its tail. Oh, so you're saying go around like this way? <laughs> Dude, that would be so funny if they had like an Obi-Wan like Easter egg or like two like skeletons like out in the distance like fighting on a platform on the lava. That would actually be like hilarious.
weird. I'm trying to go in reverse. Okay. Cannot exit the Mako unless it's parked in on level terrain. Got it. Hands up. Put your hands up. This is a raid. Uh, begin override. Got it. There's something inside of here. Uh, I think there are two turrets. that thing back up there it goes This is one of those open maps, right? Yeah, this one is. There's actually a whole a whole planet that we just discovered and then now we're checking it out to see what's on here. open you also leveled up uh what do i want to go for first so dampening increases shield to by 30 restores 400 extra hull when doing vehicle repair Dampening, master overload. The overload ability is pretty cool though. Does damage to enemy shields, first aid. Unlocks medicine, that's one point, sure. Ah, and this is neural shock. Nice. I'm going to upgrade his sniper rifles. Let's get Rex some uh, shotgun and then also give him some stasis. And one of those. Remember watching a video on seeing how bad an animations was in uh, Andromeda? I looked horrifying. Dude, some of the things that they did, <laughs> it was a little scary. The eyes were all over the place. Heads like it wasn't even just the eyes too it was also heads literally some people like their head would spin around in like a full 360 just a little terrifying I don't know if we're in the right area, but I hope we are.
here's a facility. All right, I wanted to make sure I did a save there because it's been a little bit. That's so weird. If you start backing up, even if you're looking forward, it doesn't fully back up. It still goes forward. So if I look backwards and I press W, now I'm going backwards. But then if I move forwards and I keep holding W, now I'm going forwards. Do you have a favorite movie franchise? Uh, Marvel, <laughs> I would have to say. Marvel is absolutely my my favorite, um, but I would say Marvel, Star Wars, uh, Fast and Furious. Still a big uh, fan of Fast and Furious movies. I like the original Fast and Furious with cars and all that, but um, the newer ones, I am absolutely into as well. Um, Lord of the Rings, I actually watched uh, the first and second last year but I, I never finished the third or watched all of the third. I think for their, for their time, they were really cool, but I never watched them originally. And I feel like personally, like some people say they held up and they do for some people, but for me, I don't know. It's a, it's always been like hard for me to focus during the entire movie. So I never fully got into them. But I do appreciate them still. I still think they're cool. I was kind of bummed out to to hear that they uh, canceled the Lord of the Rings. Uh, um mmo they they still have uh amazon still doing a new uh tv show but the mmo would have been really cool too my favorite marvel movie is thor ragnarok that is a good one i honestly don't know what's my favorite i would, I would probably yeah, say online. oh god dude able to hit them. Video game franchise? Um, huh, that one's a rough one. <sighs> Assassin's Creed is definitely one of my favorites. Um, 
I'd say like Assassin's Creed. Um, Mass Effect is up there. Dragon Age. I personally think that I like Dragon Age more than Mass Effect. Um, and I know that might be a little crazy for some people, Revenant but um, I loved Dragon Age. Uh, the Yakuza series, absolutely love those games. Uh, Battlefield. Battlefield is my all-time favorite first-person shooter. Yeah, uh, Dragon Age was also made by Bioware. Star Wars The Old Republic was also made by Bioware. And has the same exact style of dialogue choices in this game as it does in Swotor. I don't know if you can only do uh, AI hacking after their thing is disabled. That's a great show. Um, Love, Death, Then Robots season two dropped like yesterday. As well. I start. I watched like the first two episodes. The first one was very weird but interesting, and the second one was too weird. I couldn't stay into it. Um, but the the rest of them look pretty cool too. of the first season uh for which one love death and robots or uh, black mirror i love all of black mirror's episodes there's only one that i did not like for black mirror yeah i love death and the robots interesting with the mixed anim animations yeah i love the um i actually never watched all of um love death and robots so i i watched the final episode for me uh which was the soviet one um 
I watched that yesterday because I never actually watched it. And it was really cool. I love like, they're like 10 minute uh, short stories. They're pretty sick. Shields disabled. Yeah. Beyond the Aqua uh, Aquelia Rift. Yeah, is that the aside from the Citadel? The Spider Lady thing, too. That happens. <laughs> yeah, dude, that one is insane. They're they're all so good. That one was terrifying. <laughs> Some of them are dark, like sometimes, like black, some people say like Black Mirror, like they're so dark that sometimes it's hard to watch back to back. I get the darkness of them, but I never had the issue of watching them back to back. Honestly, Love, Death and Robots. Love, Death, and Robots is pretty depressing sometimes. But, uh, yeah. Sterile I took a little light. break from watching those. Rothians sure build things. I'm glad that, like, the shows aren't, like... They aren't like full on horror. They're like just like mysterious and like um Hello? Could somebody whoa. help me? Please. We found her. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Okay. Shots fired. Shots fired. Move, move, move. something that like regens shields because we have some pretty sketchy moments at times Okay. 
I think we need to go to this thing. Let me check equipment because we have a lot of stuff. Gee. Barely goes up anymore. Um, this goes up decent, a decent amount. Give them the Avenger one. Shotgun. Rex uses the shotgun the most, so I'd rather give him the best one. Uh, pistol. I already have the best one. He has a decent one. We can give him a good one. Garrus. Give him this one. Oh, we have a little bit better armor, but not as much protection. Good old Rex. Red alien looks like a hunchback of Not Notre Dame. True. Uh, can you like mark these for? Convert this into. Oh. Oh wait, you can also use them for, that's credits, right? Wait, which one's credits? Uh, how do you sell stuff? I think you sell stuff to the uh, person on the ship. So we'll do that in a bit. Enter override sequence. I don't know how I got so lucky the first time around. Wait. Up. And... Nope. Got it. That turns on and it gets very loud quick. These. So this is an elevator. Squad. Wait, we leveled up again? What? Basic armor, shield boost, advanced shield boost. first aid I'm gonna unlock basic armor so that way I can get a shield boost then Rex here
The sound was still going off because we were going up the thing. Wait, so is it in here? Unity. Five. I don't know what quick slots are. Equipment. Sniper rifle. Not really going to use that. I think we can get all of those now. Same thing. Wait, do I have a grenade launcher? Wait. How do I even equip that? He binds. Shoot, aim, zoom level, first aid. Okay. Throw grenade, holster weapon. Order rally, one, two, order attacks. Pistol, quick slot one. How do you even assign things to quick slots? Do you do it in equipment? Details? What? Wait. One. How do I? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't tell you. Like, do you assign weapons to quick slots or do you assign? Abilities to quick slots like. Huh? Controls. Codex. Maybe. Technology. Tips. Journal. I feel like there's got to be like a sign Toggle quick slots Y Boosters Like if I click this can I hit one? Let me Google it real quick. Quick slots. Press and hold the space bar and your UI will pop up. You will see the talents at the bottom. You can also... How the heck do I assign... Press and hold the space bar when your UI will pop up you will see talents down at the bottom 
thick and drag them to the quick slots above. Whoa. Hold up. What? What? Wait, does this work too? Like, there are quick slots also? Nah. I can tell them to use something now. Interesting. So that's how that works. So sabotage overheats enemies, weapons, and burns them for minor damage. Shepard, uh, let's do that. Restore your squad members to fighting state after they've been knocked out of combat, actually. Move that to like eight. Over damages enemy shield within a certain radius. Enemy weapons and burns them for minor damage. Actually, we should do this first. Then do this. Then do that. Temporarily drives robotic enemies berserk. It would attack anything nearby, including your four more allies. Or that's good. That's all we can do right now, anyways. Um, let me put my weapons away. Hold on one second, chat. I need to run to the bathroom, and then we'll we'll continue. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 